Hey, what's up guys? I just want to do a quick update on the coil box Wi-Fi dosing pump. The new check valves came in. I ordered two different types. I took them apart. I'll show you that in a sec. And uh, you can obviously see which ones I went with. And I'll tell you why in a sec. As well as the uh, right size of tubing to use. Uh, because of, I was using wrong size on two pumps, which was just creating a lot of air bubbles. Uh, basically just wasn't dosing properly. I emailed Coralbox to see if they can mail out new replacement heads. Um, I haven't heard back yet, but I'm curious to see if, if they do get back. Why I like this dosing pump, you know, the, the mounting is great. The, the wire doesn't come out the back, so you can mount it flush. I have mine mounted to the top here, the wiring just goes straight into the power bar, so that works. I mean, the dosing, the tubing coming out the pump it is a mess down here. I'm considering getting a second pump just to start dosing the um, the coral colors, the Red Sea, because there, there are four of them. It's only, it's only one mil a day, but these, these pumps sure make it a lot easier. Um, so as you can see, the two, as far as the tubing, it just runs through the back comes up there and runs to this holder here. Now being that I'm not using the automatic top off, the tank that came with this Britsy reefer, uh, I can use this here, but I'm going to be turning that tank into refugium. So this clip here holding this tubing will no longer work there. Uh, I believe the fix will just be a magnetic holder uh, and it will just sit lower and just dose on this side of the sump and, and not in there which is fine. I'll deal with that one when the time comes. And as far as what I'm dosing, just uh, so you know, alkalinity, Red Sea Nopox, Calcium and Magnesium. I did have to calibrate it again after changing the tubing and adding all these check valves and it was about two mils off. But if you get a good calibration, you uh, really don't have to mess with it much. So I'd like to come over here, show you guys the check valves I was talking about. So this blue one, this style, is the style that came with the doser, four of them, they were clear, they weren't this exact model. Those are the ones that failed. So I did order some, because you know, that's what came with it, but um, when they arrived, they took them apart and I, I could just see why they failed. Basically that, that's the weakest link. You know, as soon as you start dosing, stuff gets gummed up. That little piece fails. And it just won't work anymore and then with this doser you need these check valves for it to work or else the liquid will just fall back into the bottle. Um, however this style of check valve is much better and these I'm starting to see online in, in some some of the fish stores so they are being used and these are both only considered for air however you know we're using them for liquid and, and this one is just this little diaphragm here, which uh, opens and closes, and just seems more more effective in this unit. They are just pressure fitted, both these units, um, so it seems like a, a flaw or somewhere maybe a leak would develop in the future. Um, however, I did order a bunch, or direct from China. They were only a few bucks. Um, we could order them on Amazon Prime for triple the price, and they'll come, you know, in two days or whatever. So that's really it as far as the check valves go. As soon as I added this style to the dosing pump and added the correct tubing, which I'll get into in a sec, yeah, she's running fine. Uh, it's just finicky, a little bit uh, frustrating getting to this point because it seems like the dosing pump should run properly without a, a check valve. But again, taking the price into consideration and these check valves being very inexpensive, um, it does work. Uh, so now, now the tubing. Um, and what I want to say about this, just for the sizing, um, this is the uh, style that, that comes with it. It's, I don't know if you search it, it's considered premium. Uh, this was the one that I found at PetSmart today, and it's called Mini Airline Tubing. Not your standard, which is this. This is what I bought when I, the, the tubing it comes with is enough for two pumps. So I had to just run out, get some. 
But the standard airline tubing, it'll just create bubbles. The dosing head will create more bubbles, it won't dose properly, and it just becomes uh, ineffective. So just remember, when you need more line, get the mini airline tubing. And from what I can measure, this is three and that's four mils. I mean, I'm probably off a bit, but that's roughly what it is. And that, and that one mil, I guess, does make all the difference. So it's a tough call as far as if I would recommend this product or not with all the frustrations I've had. I had figured out how to make it work and for the price uh, I'm probably going to get another one and uh, if you don't mind having to do we'll deal with these check valves and get the right hosing then sure it's worth the price. I'm curious if the customer service will be getting back to me because that'll be key on my decision if I will be ordering another one um, for the coral colors or just a j bow because of course the, the price is right and they do work. Coral Box actually has the j bows on their website, so maybe they're the same company. Either way, we know they're from the same place. Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to do for my next video is the settings for my LED lights. I'm just going to do a quick video on that. Of course, like I mentioned, I got the Refugium build coming. Still need a UV sanitizer in there for if and ever bad things happen. And uh, I'll do a little more in depth with the uh, new fish and such because I know my last rant video didn't really get into too much detail. That's it for now. Thanks for stopping by.